G'day, g'day, my name's Jim, and today we're going to be having a look inside a 6 amp 18 volt lithium ion battery from AEG. G'day, g'day, and welcome. So here we have one of AEG's big boys, the L1860R. Six amps that produces 108 watts. Designed in Germany and made in China, these little buggers retail for $189 Aussie bum fucks at your local. Please don't make me go there again. I've already been there three times this week. Bunnings Warehouse. So this battery I couldn't get any warranty on because, well, I fucked if I could actually find the receipt. So let's see what we can do about salvaging it or fixing it. Because you know what I say, and say it with me, boys and girls, it's already fucked, so you can't fuck it any worse. So the first thing I notice, it's got anti-tamper screws, and I'm not sure why, because any 10-year-old with an iFixit kit can fucking open one. Well, whatever floats your boat, I guess, but I'll tell you one thing, though. This is taking way too long. Time to use a little bit of horsepower. This here is the brushless Fusion AGE hammer drill that this battery actually belongs to. Thankfully, it's still running. And coincidentally, try that again, and coincidentally, the one that almost dislocated me friggin' shoulder when the bit got caught on something. This is the first time I've seen inside one of these big bastards. Yeah, straight away, we've got corrosion. It's even on the lid. Might be a chance I can actually fix this. It's a very interesting setup. So we've got a bit of corrosion down there, and a bit over here. And this up top here... Looks like mold. No, I, I think it's actually, I think it's dirt. Yeah, I think this might be where the vent sits, right above those two MOSFETs. But we definitely got some corrosion down here. We got a, uh, a fair bit underneath this capacitor. And looks like some underneath, I think this must be the CPU. Yeah, there's bits everywhere actually. You got two big ass MOSFETs here, and they're joined to this aluminium heat sink, looks like. And this is like right near where that vent is. What does that say? IRFB747. I looks like a heart R, which I think is the brand um, P820D. And under that, it's got LXVA. I might run that through Google and see what I can find. Well, well, let's see if we can rescue this 200 freaking dollar battery anyway. So I've got a cotton bud with some alcohol. 100% uh, proof. Woohoo! No, I ain't drinking it. It's fucking isopropyl. But, you know, thanks for thinking of me anyway. I should rephrase that. It's 100% alcohol, not 100 proof. So we'll just take our little cotton swabby thing here and... Go over it all and um, try and remove any corrosion. Oh, look at that. We've got lights. We've got lights. So she's shorting out somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. This, we might be in with a chance here. Just do our best. Clean up all this bullshit and um, see how it goes. There's only one way to find out. These lights are freaking me out, though. They're flashing all over the place. I'm actually waiting for the thing to go woof and... Fucking go up in a big, big ball of flame or something. It shouldn't. <laughs> in fact, alcohol is non-conductive as far as I know, so it shouldn't actually be doing anything at all. But proof's in the pudding. She's fucking lighting up all right. She's definitely got a short somewhere. It'd be really nice to be able to dunk the whole lot in a sonic friggin' cleaner, but it looks like this PCB is friggin' well soldered pretty heavily. To the uh, to the batteries. So uh, have a look at the rest of this. Um, just work out how the fuck to take this apart. Uh, okay, it's weird. It seems like it's splitting in half. And up oh, there you go. Wow, look at this thing. Holy shit. Okay, get this other side off so we can have a good look. Bits of crap falling out all over the place. There's fucking heaps of dirt and shit inside this battery. I tell you one thing. This was definitely not designed to be serviceable that's for sure let's uh, zoom in here and have a look all right we got uh three contacts on this side we've got two batteries then four batteries and then three batteries and they're connected with three rails on one side and then on this side we've got four batteries and another four batteries and two batteries and they're connected to three rails on the opposite side 
So I'm pushing the little button and uh, two of the lights are lighting up. First light still dead or malfunctioning. I don't know. Let's just uh, stick it in the charger and we'll see if what I've done so far is going to make any difference. Hopefully, cross your fingers, it might be fixed and we can actually go back to using it. And bop Biatch. Oh, it was worth a try, I guess. Okay, well, the next thing I'm going to try is to poke around with the multimeter. And hopefully, with a bit of luck, there might be a dead cell. Now, why, you're probably asking, do I hope there's a dead cell? If it's only a dead cell that's gone, then I can pull that dead cell out and put another battery in there in place. And um, with a bit of luck, she'll fire up and work again. So it keeps on saying 16 and a half volts. I don't think that's a dead cell, otherwise it'd add up to uh, about 20 volts. They're 3.7 volts each. So if I had to guess, I'd say that this probably runs two separate voltages. It runs a very low voltage for uh, LED light or the computer or something like that, and then runs all the power for the actual tool itself through the, uh, through the high voltage rails. But if I was really clever, which I'm sort of not... <laughs> I would uh, stick this multimeter on one of the good batteries and see what that read. But that, that'd be just stupid. Why would you want to do that for? Okay, well, here we have its twin, an AEG Force 6 amp. And we'll stick the multimeter on it and we'll see what it says. 20 volts. Okay, well, that proves me wrong. <laughs> Well, obviously it doesn't run off two different voltages, it's just the one, and we are down 4 volts, well, 3.5. Now, through the magic of not actually filming it, I went over the board with alcohol again. I tried tracing the short multiple times with the multimeter, and I'll tell you something, it's my unknowledgeable, unschooled and unprofessional opinion that the board is cactus. And you can take that to the bank. Okay, so unfortunately, if the board is rooted, I can't get any spare parts for it. I can't get any diagrams or schematics for it. Um, so, and I definitely can't buy a whole new board. So it's rooted. So the only thing I want to do now is try and get these cells out and see if I can reclaim them and reuse them for other projects. Or maybe I just might stick them in my weed vape. Either way. So it's got two giant rails soldered on at either end of the uh, battery. I presume this would be the positive and negative. And it's got four other rails as well soldered in there. It's a very large pity they don't sell these boards for, you know, like 50 bucks or something like that. Or, you know, it'd be less of a pity if they actually sort of waterproof this a little bit more or sort of, you know, weather resisted it slightly. That way, it might not fuck up after a year, and then you don't have to spend another $200 replacing the cunt. Hey, but that's just me. I've got all kinds of fucking weird ideas that don't make any sense. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there going, why don't you treat your tools better? Well, look, if you pay me and my boys to come out and build you a deck, and we're out there fucking working, and there's one drop of spit comes out of the sky, I go, well, that's it, boys, knock off time, we're going home, quick, pack up the tools! Yeah, you get the fucking shits pretty quick, wouldn't you? If it starts spitting raining or whatever while we're on the job, we've got to keep fucking working. You can't just go, yeah, yeah, and fucking pack up. So obviously, you know, some of that shit's going to get down into the fucking tools and stuff. Trust me, I'd like to be able to say, hey, it's 98% humidity. Time to fuck off home. Beer o'clock, boys. So what I want to do here is uh, break these tabs off so I can get the batteries out. Uh, the, the scary little bit here is when you're doing it on the positive side of the batteries, um, if you touch the outside casing to the center button there, she's going to short out, which it's, um, does quite a few times actually, but there's not much you can do about it. You got to try and get these off somehow. So what you can do though is peel the old wrapping off and then put some shrink wrap over it and that'll protect it from shorting out. I just want to go along, I want to break off all these tabs and just try not to friggin' fry myself or set myself on fire while we're doing this. Okay, so let's see how many of these are any good. Let's chuck them on the multimeter and see. And number one, we have... 3.946 volts. Nice. Not bad at all. That's one good battery. Number two, we have 3.946 volts again. Beautiful. What about this one? 
Three nine volts, beautiful. Three nine volts, beautiful. Three nine volts, fantastic. Three four volts, uh, that's a bit low. Three two volts, uh, that's a bit low as well. Three nine volts. Three four. Three nine, so the three two. There you go. Well, they're all above three, so they should all be good. I'm gonna chuck them on a charger, and. I'll go back through them again and I'll find out how many amps there are. I'm pretty sure they should be up around the 3,000 mark, though. There's only one way to absolutely find out. So just like those nude selfies I took last year, a little bit of searching on the internet and boom, up it pops. So these guys are a Samsung 30Q18650 battery, 300mAh, 15 amp, 3.6 volt, grade A lithium ion. And uh, they're 15 amp, 3.6 volt, 10 watts. Uh, apparently $7.59 no, $6 each. Uh, no idea what currency that's in. It's probably in the US, I guess. Because I can tell you, if I try to buy them off eBay or Amazon or something today, they're going to cost me almost bloody $10, $12 each at least. So as you can see there, they're made in Korea, um, brand on Samsung. Okay, so there you go. Their uh, maximum voltage charge is 4.2 volts. Normal charge is 3.6. And the voltage discharge end is 2.5 volts at a capacity of 3,000. Interesting, very interesting. Not that I'm really into batteries or anything like that, but they're at least good ones. They're not just pieces of crap. Uh, Trend as well, I hope you've enjoyed the video and make sure you like, comment and subscribe. I'll be back in a flash with another video very shortly. In fact, I'm gonna start making it now. So do us a favor, drop a comment below about what you think of the video, um, because I like hearing from you. So until next time, y'all be good, y'all stay safe, and we'll see you round like a wristle, trendsetters. Play that music! You spin me right round, baby, right round. Techno, techno.